Good morning and welcome back to Plan Adult History. Today we are going to discuss what if taxes remained independent. Taxes used to be called Tejas, and it was part of the collapsing Mexican Empire. There were some Tejanos in Texas, but after some time most of the inhabitants, they were actually US Americans that came to Texas. Texas started then to declare independence from Mexico during the Mexican Federalist War, which was essentially a Mexican Civil War. It is wrong to assume that only the US was responsible for the tax and independence because there were several issues that Texas and also the Tejanos even had with the Mexican uh, government. Well, the Federal Republic decided that Texas should be combined with Coahuila in a province. That was already a first issue. And like this, they would just have one seat in the Mexican state legislature. Later on, it was agreed to make Texas a department of the new state of San Antonio with it as a capital. Mexico was bankrupt, Texas was sparsely populated, always vulnerable to attacks of native tribes, and the Federal Republic needed to station soldiers in there, making Texas an expensive and a very, very unprofitable part of the country. Immigration policies were liberalized and many US Americans then immigrated to Texas. They brought slaves with them, a new religion, and also certain attitude towards ra races which displeased the Tejanos. By 1834 there were 30,000 US Americans who lived in Coahuila and Texas. Some 5,000 slaves and only 7,800 Mexican born residents. People got mad when slavery was abolished and there was always a lot of trouble because Texas was very far from the capital and communication was very difficult with the capital. People were divided in their opinion. Texas was very difficult to control and at a certain point the US media supported the independence of Texas. At the end Texas got independence but it only served as a step towards annexation by the US. But what if all of that changed? What if taxes remained independent? If we get 100 likes on this video, I will make a fully fleshed scenario about it. So let's get started with this what if mini. One point of divergence I propose is that Sam Houston dies earlier and Mirabeau B. Lamar, I don't know if it's pronounced like this, becomes the president of Texas. More about that later. Now let's talk about Lamar's policies. Mirabeau Lamar is said to have been against annexation for quite some time and if he got re-elected he might finally have gotten recognition of Britain, France, Belgium and the Netherlands. Something that didn't happen in his first term. He would also see that certain points of his policies failed and that he could not just expand taxes and genocide away all the natives and remove the Tejanos or Mexicans. He could at a certain point make a peace deal with Mexico and get support of the British. Britain could push the Mexicans to sign it and perhaps the US would push them as well. But both would do so for different reasons. The Brits would hope to get an ally with whom they could trade and have an influence in while the US would hope that with a peace treaty they could just come and annex taxes without any further problems. But Mirabeau Lamar would actively work against annexation. Due to the good relations with the US, Lamar would ask the US to help them against the natives and taxes with the US could potentially expand a little bit westwards. Lamar would also face different problems. The economy was not developed enough and taxes would ask for loans from the US and the UK. Lamar would technically also be unconstitutional because he never got really elected as president and some, taxes, and some Texans would accuse him of a dictatorship. 
but he could just denounce them as pro-Mexicans or people who don't want an union with the US. Lamar will clearly play the US against the British and vice versa. This alternate taxes could expand a bit, but not really get the border they wanted. While the US would eagerly await to annex taxes and the Brits would wait for taxes to develop more and take advantage of them. What will happen next? Will Mexico intervene or accept taxes? Will the US help their cause by freeing taxes? Or will taxes destroy itself and go under as fragile, short-lived seasonal state? And that's where we leave it for now.